This week, Mariah is back on stage. She performed in Saudi Arabia and she surprised us with three new Christmas shows. There's also a bunch of new merchandise out there, so I hope everyone's wallets are ready. All that and more coming right up. Hey, what's up? It's Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. And we have so much news to cover. You know, we do an episode and then you never know what's going to happen. And so last week we released our episode and then everything happened all at once. So we got to catch up on all the news. Yes, it was a, a week full of Mariah surprises. Absolutely. I feel that's what we got. Surprise after surprise. I know, right? All these things, we weren't really expecting any of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know where to even begin. Should we just like pick up where we left off? Uh, yes, with the first surprise. Why not? Because we got a I lot know. to cover this episode, so <laughs> we got to get right into it all. So um, last week, I think we were questioning if Mariah was in New York or not. Turns out she wasn't. She was in the Middle East. Yeah, she made a very quick trip over to Saudi Arabia. Yes. And then she was right back in New York going to events and things, which we'll discuss. But um, mm-hmm. she did um, a, a concert, like a mini concert, I guess you could say. Yeah, a little set. Yeah, a little something for the people over there in Saudi Arabia. (laughs) So I guess there is a new resort opening in Saudi Arabia called Mariah, I believe. And so they got her involved and she went out there to do a little um, concert for the folks. Yes, absolutely. I I guess that's what she did. (laughs) I mean, I saw some footage, so Uh it must have happened. Um, So she was over there and she uh, she looked gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Uh, a full length gown. She had a conservative, what? you know, very, in Saudi Arabia, uh, the fashions are regulated and controlled. Very um, much. Yeah. yeah. So she had to change up the look. But yes. conservative Mariah looks good too. Oh, we love that look on her. She looked great. Oh, I loved it. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah. You know what? Before we even got any of the concert footage, we got a photo of Mariah with um, um, female Jeez. artists over right. there in Saudi Arabia. So she was like doing a woman empowerment moment over there. Right. Doing some that mentoring at the that. music school. There you go. That's the better way. That's of what she was it. doing. Yes. <laughs> 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 Thanks uh, for clearing, cleaning that up for me. <laughs> I was like, she was over there talking to some people. <laughs> well, that was the first time, that was the first picture that got released. So I was thinking, wait, where is she? Cause I was thought maybe, do you remember she did the concert in Saudi Arabia? A few years ago, yeah. mm-hmm. another in and out situation. Uh huh. But I was trying to, I was trying to figure out if that photo was from back then. We're just seeing it now. Mm. But it turns out it was a whole new photo. She was back in Saudi Arabia for this event. Yeah, yeah, for this uh, Mariah event. And mm-hmm. so she did. Um, she did a good little set list there, though. She did great songs. There are a bunch of clips out there. Um, nice. uh, she did my my favorite, "Make It Happen." Mm-hmm. She did a good vision of love, high notes included. We love a yes. vision of love with high notes. Yes, we do. She and did then, big energy. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Right, right, right. But here's I like, like, see, I feel like ahead. that is a gag on the set list because it's so highly sexual in a very conservative country. Oh, so I didn't even think of that. See, so I think but she slipped that one in. Like uh, that's like a protest mm-hmm. move. Hmm. I see what she's doing there. I'm, mm-hmm. But I was gonna say, I feel like that's gonna be like her new fantasy moment, like the big energy remix, which is I'm cute. Okay. I'm down yeah. for it for a while, Same. for sure. Um, I will also I was gonna say, uh, she did a song that we haven't heard in a while. I'll be there with Trey Lorenz. She I hasn't know. performed that in a long time. I think she did it in Vegas, right? It's been a, since One to Infinity. I think it's. Were they doing I'll Be There? Well, yeah, one to in- yeah. well, number ones, the number ones to infinity. Yes, that's what that yeah, does. That's, yeah, exactly. That's what I said. <laughs> Girl, I'm I'm with ya. I'm with ya. I because <laughs> I, I go, I feel because I feel like when I think Vegas, I always think Butterfly Returns. Oh, okay, you know what I mean? But I was like, yeah, of course, because it's a number one, right? Exactly. Yeah, so, I think that was that the last was time we saw ago. it. Yeah, it was. Yeah. That was seven, five, six, seven years ago. Yeah, yeah. It's been a while. So that was a nice little surprise. It is. So she's brought that back out and she's been, and she did the Honey Breaker. Ooh, I love that mashup. I, it's I, good. Ooh, I love it. I actually, so on my own, um, uh, free, on my free time, I've watched the Global Citizens performance twice already. 
and you like it. Italy. I'm into it. I think it's good. I think it's good too. It's like carefree and fun. I mean, Mariah knows how to mash up songs. Mm-hmm. Like you, gotta, you definitely have to give her that. Yes, she's yes. a master at it for sure. So I think I'd be down for seeing Honeybreaker in real life as well. Oh, definitely, definitely That'd be fun. I mean, mm-hmm. put it on the tour, the set list for for the upcoming tours whenever they come, right. for sure. I want a studio version of it. Yeah. And while you're at it, do a dance club mix. Yeah. Why, <laughs> why not? not? <laughs> I'll be down. You know, hey, I'll take it. I'll take all of it. Okay, so she was in Saudi Arabia, but there were all kinds of other little things that were happening this week. Um, one of one of the things that happened, Essence Magazine, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about um, how all the magazines were, t- were talking about Butterfly 25. Yes, and, and you now- actually keep, well, I keep thinking about that Pitchfork article that we read. And uh, I think, I forget her last name, Pooja, I think is the editor-in-chief. And she wrote that Always Be My Baby review mm-hmm, and she was talking mm-hmm. about it's ethereal and it's about eternity i oh. kept thinking about that i was like oh wow that was a really good analysis you, of it yes when you read that i'm like all right all right bringing it yes. to a whole nother level I you know, know. You think it's just like a breakup pop song or whatever like no uh-huh. Ugh, it's so much more no I so know. i love that i love that so we like these magazine moments oh any any and all of it i'll take it so this this week essence magazine named um some of her albums, the top R&B albums of all time. Or was it two albums, I believe? Well, they also named oh, her the R&B artists. 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 R&B artists. But One of the greatest. Daydream and Butterfly mm-hmm. um, in particular in their little write-up on it. So that was cute. It sounds accurate. I mean, I'm not going to argue. I feel like Rainbow gets, Rainbow gets neglected in these lists. Okay, well... A little bit, but not in the fan base, because you know we we love it. We love it. We love a heartbreaker. Yeah. Can't take that away. We love all of that. Rainbow uh, charm bracelet and glitter all get neglected by the general public. By yeah. the general public, mm-hmm. they go straight to Mimi, and that's all right. That's that's where they can be. They can be over there. <laughs> be over there. Um, but speaking of albums and charts and things in the UK, remember we said that they were re-releasing her debut album in vinyl for right. like in, like a the record debut record release day or whatever. I think it was and a national album day. There you go. Thank you again. <laughs> <laughs> Coming with the facts. Um, but that the sales of that vinyl got her back onto the UK charts. I know that's exciting. So that's good. It shows you the power of vinyl. Oh my God. Vinyl is everywhere nowadays. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, I have vinyl, but I never listen to them. I want to know if people actually listen to them. I think people That's like to collect about. them. Yeah. Like me for the, for the photos. For the photos. Yeah. <laughs> for the display. <laughs> <That's why>. Yes. <laughs> um, so we love, we love Mariah being up on the charts over there. Mm-hmm. And then we also had, Basically, like some Instagram moments. We saw a lot of new photos yes. over there on the social medias. Yes, she did. And she gave us a real good one. Her photo of her, little Monroe, in her father's car. We get to see it again. Oh, yes. Now, we first saw that she posted a, a series of photos. I think it was her dad's birthday. Mm-hmm. And she posted a little tribute. And she uh, put photos, multiple photos. Now, the photos are, are old. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna what do we know what year those were? I'm gonna say like a, a 16 or 17. 2016. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, like hashtag beautiful era. Yeah, something or like right after that, maybe. Yeah, because I bet she got maybe. it out of the garage and was just taking yeah. photos with it. And because I, I used know. it for the video. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Remember? It's probably around that time then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So sounds about right. Okay, so maybe 15 or 14. Right. Maybe I was my my years are off but okay well they were cute they were cute mm-hmm. we we saw one of them in the memoir she used the one with rocky in the car yes. in the memoir but now we saw like more of the outtakes if you will and mariah yeah. in the car yeah. super cute it's a nice car honey i was like rich mm-hmm. honey mm-hmm. rich mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no but that's a very sweet sentimental thing so i loved seeing that Absolutely. Um, yeah. By the way, shout out to our Patreon members who are listening to us live right now. Uh, 
you know, one of the perks of being a Patreon member is that we do some live events every now and then. You get the episodes unplugged, so you get a pre-show, an after-show, um, all kinds of bonus content. And if you want to join in the fun and support this podcast, head over to patreon.com slash the Mariah Report and sign up. No yeah. contract. Come and go. As you please, as you wish, as you will. Yes. All those fun things. Exactly. Um, yeah, we had a little pre-show, uh, pre-talk with with some of the lambs over mm-hmm. there. It's good times. It is good. Good times. Um, okay, so back to Mariah. So she gets back from Saudi Arabia. Immediately. She comes right on back. I could not keep up with the timeline. I'm like, wait, where is she? Was she I just, know, right? Wasn't she just in Saudi Arabia? Well, how long is that flight? It's got to be at least like 12 hours. No, At least, yeah. At least. Or Maybe more. a connecting flight or something. Who knows? <laughs> no, I bet in that kind of deal, you get private jetted in and out. You're oh. not dealing with the airport and customs. Oh, no, no, no. In and out. In and out. Probably didn't even go to the hotel. No. No. On the plane, off the plane. Yeah. On the plane. Sing, sing, the plane. sing. <laughs> out of here. <laughs> um, so she was immediately back in New York City, and she hit the streets. I know. We got to see her in the yes. streets again. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Now, she posted the photo of her and Monroe um, in in her closet, I believe, was the first one. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, my God, they're so gorgeous. The two mm-hmm. of them. Love yeah. them. Oh, um, my God. Monroe's getting so big. Girl, she got them long legs. Yes. And you know what I also love? It's like she dresses like an 11-year-old. Mm-hmm. Like, a, you know, just cute, fun kid. Cute you know covers. what I mean? Yes. Thank oh my gosh. Cute look. I loved it. Little mommy daughter moment. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then, I, of course, they were like so dressed up. I was like, well, where in the world could they be going? They're mm-hmm. hitting the streets together. Mm-hmm. And then we saw them outside the building, getting into the car. Gorgeous photos. Mariah looked gorgeous. Really good looks. She was the giving shoes. us charm bracelet hair. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Remember when she wore the. Um, the jersey dress. Yes, that look. That look, very that. It was giving us very that. I loved it. But it turns out, they no wonder their hair was so styled and on point. Mm-hmm. Because they were going to a little private event for the hair tails. Right. Executive produced by our friend, friend of the show, Michaela Angela Davis. It was the official launch. And it, the first episode came out this week on OWN. Yes, two episodes even. Oh, there's two out now. Oh, there's two. Yes, yes. I'm one behind then. You're one behind. I need to catch up. (laughs) Well, the first, we're going to talk more about the hair tails later in a different episode, but the first one has Oprah Winfrey. Um, So it was a really good, insightful thing. But you know, I've been been a student of Oprah's my whole life. So I knew half of those stories. You know, but it is interesting because it's it's people, these uh, famous people telling their story through the lens of their hair experience, which is such an interesting point of view to take because I never, because Oprah had told us these hair stories before in the past, but I never really thought about it in a way that her hair was so um, politicized. There's so much policy that went into her hair. Yes. Yes. Like what an insane thing to even be existing. That's like mm-hmm. such a weird thing. There were some moments in there when that uh, that Oprah episode where she was talking about the hair and like, yeah. I, 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 I was getting a little emotional, a little emotional, a little emotional. I was like, right, all right, Oprah, can we not make everybody cry? <laughs> I know. Well, it's just it, so weird. Because it's that deep. It's that serious. It's that serious. And other people want to control your hair. Mm-hmm. Right. Exactly. Isn't that stupid? Yes, it's such such a crazy thing, such a crazy yeah. thing. But that's why this show is so good. Very well done, very mm-hmm. well produced. Mm-hmm. Love it, love it. Hosted by Tracy Ellis Tracy Ross. Ellis Ross. Mm-hmm. Um, super good. So get into it. Yeah, absolutely. You can watch it on Hulu. Hulu so and OWN. Yes. Oh, yes, on OWN as well. And um, the, um, DVR. Like set the DVR. Oh, yes, yes. Do they still have those? That's what I did, yes. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it worked. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so Mariah and Monroe were out. It was such a cute event. They looked gorgeous. We saw some other photos of Mariah actually at the event mm-hmm. uh, with Michaela 
And yes. they, of course, gorgeous as well. I love that dress on Mariah, the shoes, the hair, everything. It was, it was on point. Did we see that dress before in the American Idol era? I don't think so, but it was give. She looked so gorgeous that I was, was like, good. "This is like this is American Idol level." Because you know mm-hmm. she was coming every week, American Idol with the looks. <laughs> yes. I was like, "Is she going to the American Idol set? Like, where is she going?" <laughs> <laughs> the Boom Boom Room. Yeah, actually, the Boom Boom Room uh, over in New York. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, and here's the thing. I'm getting a little nostalgic about New York around this time. In a few minutes, we're going to talk about Mariah at Madison Square Garden coming up. But I'm feeling like, oh, I wish I was in New York. Like, you know. It is kind of a vibe right now. I do love New I York. I'm, I'm having I'm having little pings of, um, um, what do they call it? Missing. Envy? And, and not envy, but like. You know, nostalgia. when you miss something. Nostalgia. Yeah. Or uh-huh. like, oh, I love New York. But it's cold, girl. I ain't even trying it. I know. That's the thing. Like, I'm I'm liking it again just while I'm here visiting and having thoughts of just, oh, should this be a full-time thing again? I don't know. Things are going well, but the cold's coming. I'm like, I, oh, I know. No, no. no. I can't do I it. I can't do it. Because <laughs> you know, once no, all the Christmas I... excitement dies down, it's just cold. R- exactly. And, and then you got to walk through all that snow. And yeah, we're not having that. Oh, no. no, no, I can't. But I do miss New York. And then, um, and then of course, Mariah announces a, a Madison Square Garden show. So now I'm like, ah. Oh. Okay, let's talk about that. Okay, the drama. Always drama with tickets. Uh, always drama. It's, it's <laughs> always the fans, the tickets, the get, like pricing. Yes. Honey, honey. Okay, let's start with the announcement. Okay. Because a whole new photo. Whole new photo. Do you think it was taken just the other day? You know, you know how she like posted that photo of the red dress by the bathtub? Oh, oh, maybe. Could have been. It could be a quick turnaround. Yeah, why not? Honey, she went all the way to Saudi Arabia and came back before we even blinked our eyes. <laughs> yeah. She definitely could bust out a photo <laughs> really quickly. <laughs> Again, um, she figured out she can work from home now. So I'm right, sure there's a camera exactly. and a green screen. <laughs> click, click, click. It's done. <laughs> no, but I'm sure maybe not like overnight or whatever. But I do feel like, you know, because you have to like put those photos. You got to give them to people. They have to like do all the uh, the graphics and the artwork and all that kind of stuff. So she probably took it a while ago. But it's mm-hmm. cute. I love it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Simple. Yes. Christmassy. Yeah. Christmassy. And so an, an initial announcement was made and she announced two shows, one in Toronto, one in Madison Square Garden. Right. In December. In December. Perfect Christmas time season. for Christmas. Yes. And um, so those tickets are already on sale. Mm-hmm. And now they are going to add another show. A second show. So I guess that's good. I mean, I think it's great. However, I do feel like there's a level of... When there's only one show, it makes it more special. Right. Because you, you know? when you announce the first show, that's when the Hunger Games happen with the lambs. <laughs> and they're booking the tickets and fighting for their life to get something secured. Yes, there's that whole aspect of it as well. Traveling from out of town, uh, spending all the money, booking the hotels, flights to hotels. Calling out sick from work. Mm-hmm. A month and a half in advance. Yeah, like, I know I'm gonna I'm a I'm gonna have the COVID that week, so just <laughs> might not be there. I know because it's the flu. It's flu uh-huh. season. Exactly. Exactly. You know, just letting well in advance. Um, but then, so I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to this year's show, so I'm a little, mm, a little sad. But um, it's going to be a festive time. Now, there's a new name for the show. What do you think about that? They're calling it Merry Merry Christmas Christmas to All. all. Cute. I like it. If it's a whole new show, you think it's going to be a whole new show? Uh, I think it's just going to be a remix of the last show, not a whole new show. Of her traditional, you know, Beacon Theater shows? Yeah. Like, I bet there'll be some add-ons. So I bet it'll be like Beacon Theater set list slash the last time we saw her. But they'll add... Um, sleigh bells, and add fall in love with Christmas. Okay, okay, I'm down for that. 
You know how she was doing the star? She used to do the star. I was wondering, is the star staying or going? What do you think? I think the star should go. No, I love I the mean, star. I mean, we love it. We love it. Remember when Lil Monroe and Rocky were singing back up? Back up. Oh, back in the day. Ugh, that was cute. Adorable. But no, we have to let that go so we can replace it with Fall in Love at Christmas. Oh, gosh. No, someone else can go who's been there the whole time. Well, what do you want to get rid of Silent Night? We can't do that. We can't. You want to get rid of Joy to the World? No, absolutely not. Really? No. No. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> absolutely no, Joy not. Joy to the World can stay. Silent Night, sure. Why not? Silent Night. Yeah, yeah, someone's no. going to go. Because you know she's only doing a 45-minute show. Yeah. <laughs> so someone's yeah. got to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what about if we ditch the um, non-Christmas songs? Oh, no, no, no. These people, you know, because the general public's going to be there. <laughs> yeah. They're going to be up in, the, up in the seats over there. <laughs> so they're, they're going to need they're gonna need a We Belong Together and a Hero. Gosh. Okay, that's enough. That's yeah. all I need. That's all I'm getting. telling you. Yeah, that's all. That's all. I don't know. I just think she's going to swap out the star for fall in love uh, that's okay is good. that's fine i'm, fine I'm saying that. i want that but i'm agreeing it's high risk for the star okay do you know they say you know, what is it like the last to get hired is supposed to get fired or whatever oh is that right something like that okay well that's the star so yeah <laughs> she was the last to join <laughs> <laughs> now she's out of here yeah. Well, I, I hope it's going to be a fabulous show and I hope all the lambs get good tickets because the thing that we don't have this year are like the honeybee fly pre-sales. Yes. Which there's always been argument back and forth on like whether they actually come through for lambs, but I've had a couple good moments with honeybee fly pre-sales. Same. And I've gotten some good stuff. Same. But it's not an option. <laughs> this this is not an option this time around. And um, a lot of stuff is happening because these tickets are very pricey. Right. So the initial, very okay, the, the initial price range, I guess, when you clicked on it was minimum 1100 bucks. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. I will not. Outrageous. I cannot. I, I cannot and I will not. The inflation totally hit the tickets. You know what? They, <laughs> the ticket inflation better go somewhere, honey. I know. Because that's rent. Rent. Month's rent, rent for most people. For 45 minutes? Yes. <sighs> Honey. Honey. Okay. But I did go clicking around the pre-sale today, and it, there was stuff for like 300 bucks. There okay. were things up high in like the $100 range once okay. the pre-sale hit. Okay. But, but limited. Like I couldn't see any tickets that were together. Like I couldn't find two seats next to each other. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Unless you're in like the three, four hundred dollar each range. Oh gosh, you know the way that these ticket companies, Ticketmaster in particular, just run these ticket scams. Mm-hmm. They're 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 robbing us right in front of our face. I mean, this probably has nothing to do with Mariah. Mariah has probably very little to zero say over ticket sales. Uh huh. Um, once you put that kind of stuff up on, you know, Ticketmaster, yeah. so they're literally robbing us. Mm-hmm. And it's not fair. It's not well, fair Ticketmaster has the baked-in resale now. Yeah, where people resell it for outrageous amounts, like they did right. with the butterfly vinyl. Uh huh. You know, it's not fair. It's the whole thing to resale. Yeah. Oh, the resale business is is big and it's booming mm-hmm. for uh, for in all markets. But I'm just saying, like, can the lambs like can the real lambs like really get something? Come on. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's too much stress and anxiety. It is. Well, I didn't buy a ticket to the first show. I'm going to just look with one eye at the second show. And see what's up. See what pops up. Mm-hmm. You always got to look. You always got to look. Gotta look. You just yes. got to, you got to just see. You know what the crazy thing is? I don't know any other lambs, but like, even after I buy a ticket, I'm still, I'm still always looking. looking. I'm always looking. Because they release all the a, tickets. Right. I mean, I'll have a front row seat and I'll still be looking at what is available. <laughs> Something is wrong with me. <laughs> Something is wrong. Please tell me I'm not the only one. Please. No, there's been moments where I've bought like a 10th row seat or something, but you keep checking every now and then and you might see two seats opened up in the third row for a little bit extra, whatever, 
pay the difference. Yeah. You got to keep oh, an for eye sure. on sure. You, yeah, yeah. You just get, that's why it's like from now until the day of the show, you're just going to have to take it master all day. Get the app on your phone because yeah. you're going to need it. <laughs> you are going to need it. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah. Ugh. At least we okay. know we, we're getting Christmas shows. And that's, exactly. That's what we wanted. So she's doing Toronto. I think Toronto could be a fun show to go to. Oh, yes. I, I, I'm telling you, I would, I, if I didn't have to fly ha- across the country, girl, I would be going. Mm-hmm. I would go. Um, Toronto, two shows in New York. Mm-hmm. We've got to look forward to. I just, I wish she would have announced the Friday show first, just l- l- for lo- the logistics of it. If you're coming from out of town, right? like I would have been. It would have been a weird like, day, right? It's just a weird day. Yeah. Like, if you live in New York, like, sure, yeah, girl, let's go. It's Tuesday night. Like, but like, if you're like, it's a whole thing, like a weekend well, night is better. But also, like, after Mariah concert, you're pumped up. You want to go to the club, jam out oh, for yeah. a little bit, but you can't oh, do that yeah, on a yeah, Tuesday. Yeah. Not up in the club on a Tuesday. I mean, yeah. I mean, you can. I mean, like, you can, <laughs> and I probably will, but yeah. I'm just, I've done it before. Uh-huh. But it's just, I don't know. It's just a weird thing to do, like, the weekday and then the weekend. Like, I feel like if she was going to add another show, she should have added the, the Tuesday. I don't know. Again, she probably has no say. It's probably, it's probably whatever it. was available. Yeah. <laughs> she took it. <laughs> take what you can. Take what you can. Uh-huh. Um, so that was the major, major uh, Christmas announcements that right. happened this week. And we all love it. People are high anxiety still. Some lambs still don't have tickets. Mm-hmm. Um, like me. Exactly. So we will be checking Ticketmaster all day, every day for the next mm-hmm. month and a half. Great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the other thing we're going to have to do with pulling out our wallets is Mariah's got all kinds of merchandise coming. Right. Remember, like, again, back to those LLCs that got dug up that were all registered mm-hmm. and we were wondering what they're all for. I think yeah. we're starting to see what, the, what it is. Exactly. It takes it takes time to get these things and these products made and out there. Yeah. Um, so let's start with... Well, the the first and the main one is going to be the book. The book, um, Princess Christmas, Christmas Princess. I forget mm-hmm. the name. I'm sorry. The Christmas Princess. Little Mariah. Little The Little Mariah. I that love one. it. It's cute. There's little animations they're doing now on like the, the TikTok and the on Instagram. On her reels. Yeah, on the Instagram reels. There's a little animation of it. Do you know what I noticed? I think there's like a little clump of matted hair. Oh, is there? Yes. Oh, a in little the, baby in Mariah. The <laughs> You got to check it out. Poor little baby Mariah. You have to look a little closer. But also, I did hear Mariah, I forget what it was on, some little snippet of interview that she did. and Or maybe it was, wasn't even an audio. It was in a magazine or something. But she said she's hoping that this will be a series mm-hmm. of childhood stories. And mm-hmm. they're just starting with this one because she has so many stories, girl. So I can't wait. Mm-hmm. Um, and and it is going to be like a like an actual book book. It's not just like animation. It's a uh, it's good. Forty eight pages. So that's a good read for you know like an eight to twelve year old. Right. The young the young audience. Exactly. Yes. So that's so that's coming out next week. So obviously we got to go get that. But then they also at the Mariah Carey store dropped all kinds of other things on us. You can get a matching T-shirt with your book. Now, who doesn't want a little matching T-shirt with a little Princess Baby Mariah with the matted hair? Uh-huh. Cute. Cute. It actually is cute. It is I think cute. that little cartoon is cute. Yeah. Definitely cute. So she released a couple, and there's like some bundles where you can get the book and a T-shirt or just a T-shirt or, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. So we love it. Right. Exactly. Um, well, also speaking of merch, at we have, you know, roving reporters out there in the land world. We saw pictures of some sort of Walmart display that's coming out with Mariah Carey paraphernalia on it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you would call it. Mariah Carey branded gifts. Yes, yes. Like little, um, I guess you would call them like uh, Bath and Body Works type stuff. So like scented right. candles, scented lotions. lotions. Is there a bath bomb in there? I didn't see a bath bomb. I saw a candle, lotion. Um, gosh, something else. I forget what it something is. Something else. But along um, those lines, something yeah. for the bathroom. It was cute, though. It looks good. Yeah. I feel like that's that's where you got to put that stuff in the store. Now, apparently, it's going to be in Walmart. Mm-hmm. And you'll be able to buy those little gift sets and things. It's super cute. They're using those um, pictures from a few years back. Right. But they're the good. Amazon promo. They hold, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're still good. They hold good. up. They're yep. good. So they're perfect. Absolutely. Because that's for the general public over there. 
Yes, the Walmart shopper. Yes, they love that. They love that. Yeah. And I'm going to get me one too. I want to know. Yeah. I want to I I check it out. Mariah. I want a little Mariah Candle. Yes. Yeah. So we got that. And so um, you get so to look out. Right, but then there's a whole like display box they have set up with Mariah on it. So it looks oh, like yes. a good... it's going to be like in the middle of the aisle. You cannot miss it. Because you know we were complaining about Target not having anything. Here comes Walmart with the whole display. Exactly. Now, I would have rather this been in Target, but l- listen, it beggars is. can't be choosers. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're getting something. Yes. So we love that. Um, so to keep a lookout for that merchandise. And also on the shop in the Mariah store, we're getting vinyls for the Fall in Love at Christmas. Yeah. So that's, that's an interesting one. I wasn't expecting that. With the remixes. With the remixes. That is an interesting one. Yeah. Cute. I thought we were done with it. Oh, yeah. I thought she was never going to talk about that song again. Same. <laughs> Honestly, I thought it was like, boop, just for that one <laughs> year, but done and done. <laughs> you know, but no, we're we're riding with it. So we got some stuff. So that's good. That's right. good. For she's the vinyl the, collectors. She's doing the good vinyls. She really mm-hmm. is. So mm-hmm. we love that. Mm-hmm. Well, look at how the first album went back on the charts, just from vinyl sales. People are buying the vinyls. Exactly. They're really having a big resurgence. Mm -hmm. And you know how far in advance you have to, like, place orders for vinyls nowadays? Like, six months. It's like like a thing. It's like a real long process. I watched one of those shows called, like, um, How, How Do You Make It or How They Make It. And they have an episode on how they make vinyl records. And it's so fascinating. Oh, yeah. They're really like, they're doing this stuff by hand. I mean, really? once, you, well, they do like a master copy by hand uh, and then they start doing it. But that master copy is like, it's like gold. And like they do it with like plat. It's very interesting. The whole thing. There's platinum. There's layers. There's things. They soak it in a bath, really? and it's like supposed to be like pristine. And then that's what they use to sort of like make the the records in bulk. Oh, like a stamp. But, yeah, but like that first stamp is like handmade. Interesting. Very, wow. Very meticulous. Meticulously. Okay, I gotta watch this. Fascinating. Sounds good. I don't know. It's on the streaming somewhere, but you know, but you have to place those orders well in advance. So Mariah knew these things were coming. Um, what else on our list? I think it? I think that's almost covering the basics. I think there's a is. lot. That's a lot to unpack. That is a lot to unpack, girl. The lambs were gagged this week. I know, but With okay, tickets alone. Is this her way of saying it's time for Christmas? Because she literally just dropped Christmas all over us. I know. And just last week she was saying not yet. I know. So she can't keep saying not yet. No, she can't. Do you know the other little tidbit of information that um, was out there? Mariah tweeted. um, You know how Peloton does like oh yeah different artists and like yes. playlists of like things or something i don't know i'm not that rich themed but, playlists uh, yes and they posted something and then mariah replied not yet mm-hmm. and it had nothing to do with christmas did it have anything to do with christmas i don't think so no no, no. someone they... said something along the lines of w- the christmas playlist or mariah carey themed playlist something christmasy and then she said not yet but, but she it was actually Pel- responded to it. Yeah, but it was Peloton who said that. That were involved. Uh, girl, I'd have to look at the tweets again. But then everybody started talking about, oh, maybe Mariah's going to do like a, a Peloton playlist with them or something. That's a thing. That's a, that's a thing these days. Is it a thing? It's a thing. Oh, I didn't know. To get on the okay. Peloton. All right. Well, good, good. Yes. Sign Mariah right up, please. Yeah, why not? It doesn't hurt. That's what I want to listen to when I'm on the bike. <laughs> on your peloton i'm a peloton you know <laughs> for real get that fall in love at christmas remix on there yeah um <laughs> uh, okay dan before we go speaking of golden things that we love yes um, we love apple podcast reviews they help the show grow it makes a big impact when you guys leave a review and we read them out here on the show so we have a, a new one for the week, and they say every episode is pow. 
Thank you, Dan and Martin. As a baby lamb here, you both make me appreciate the artistry and beauty of Mariah. It's amazing to hear lambs who are meticulous and dedicated on all things Mariah. Every time you upload a new episode, it truly makes my day. It's been amazing to hear all the gossip, throwbacks, shade, and endless love of her music. One sweet day, I'm hoping you do a fun guest episode with lambs. I have just some cool playlists I have made. Mariah Squeals, Jams, Ballads, Out of Letting Go, Singles, etc. Thank you for everything and keep it up. All right. That's from G. McGee. All right, G. McGee. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, thanks for that great review. That's that's the kind of reviews that we love on Apple Podcasts. Yes. Um, so if you haven't done so, go over to Apple Podcasts, um, search the Mariah Report, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see a place where you can write the reviews. Drop one in there. It helps us out a lot. And we read them out here on the show. If you don't want us to read it out, just say that. We will keep it anonymous. But <laughs> either way, it really helps us a lot. So thank you so much in advance. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thank you for listening. And we will be back next week reporting on all things Mariah. Yes. Goodbye. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Reezy Beats. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app. <laughs>